Hey guys, Owen here with Seek Outside. Today I want to go over how to set up your medium U-turn stove. When you first receive your medium U-turn stove, you're going to receive two pieces. One, this bag, says medium U-turn on it. It's going to have a few pieces of your stove in here. And then two, the stovepipe storage tube with stovepipe and other accessories uh, for your U-turn stove. Inside this bag, is going to be a few pieces. You're going to have your top for your medium U-turn stove. You're going to have the front for your medium U-turn stove. You're going to have four legs and a piece of your damper as well as the bottom of your stove. In this storage tube, you're going to have your medium U-turn side, your hardware kit, and your damper. To begin assembly, my first thing I like to do is take your hardware kit, get a few wing nuts out. This is what a wing nut looks like. I like to take my legs and I like to start threading these on a few inches. So I'll thread these on and get them down here. I like to go about two inches on, or the best I can judge, two inches. And you only have to do this the first time you're setting up the stove. Otherwise, you can just leave the feet and the wing nuts at the desired height. I'll then take a foot and I'll attach it right below that wing nut. This is going to help stabilize your stove when you're using it out in the woods. I'm now going to do this for all four legs just so we're ready to start assembling our stove. Now that you have your legs done, set your hardware to the side. You're going to need it here in a few moments. But take the bottom of your stove. The bottom is going to have no holes um, except for these four for these legs. Um, and then you're going to take your front. I'm going to remove the door just to make assembly a little bit easier. I'm less finicky. And then I'm going to go ahead and grab my medium U-turn side. Set everything apart for a second. I'm going to unwrap this medium U-turn side. Unwrap real slow. You're going to notice there's some slits on this side. The slits go on the bottom of the stove. There's going to be two slits. Now what I like to do is I like to throw my door in here and attach. You have this piece right here is going to slide into this slot right here. So I like to slide them together here. And then I will slide this one together over here. And now that side is connected to the piece of the front. And I'll push the front of the stove flush with the front of the bottom. I like to take these slots and I like to bend them out just so you have a little easier time. So I'm going to bend this one over on this side while we're here. So you have a little easier time putting this together. So the slot is going to go on the outside while the rest of the side is going to go inside the stove. The first time you set one of these up, it can be a little bit finicky um, as the titanium hasn't burned in yet. Once you have those slots in place, try and Make sure the rest of that side gets in the stove, like so. We're going to take our top. The hole for the stovepipe should go in the back, so away from the front, in the back of the stove. And we're going to just get all of that U-turn goodness inside of here. Cool. And then we have this together. Now we're ready for our legs. What I'm going to do is I'm going to sandwich this stove together. I'm going to just pick it up here. Sandwich it between my hips. I'm gonna go ahead to the back here. And I'm gonna 
run one of these through. Okay, and then I'm gonna take a wing nut. Just carefully apply that here. The U-turn uses two wing nuts in the back, so I'm gonna just thread that on a quarter inch. Thread this through the top right there. I'm gonna attach another wing nut. This is gonna be here for structural reasons. Make the stove quite a bit stronger. So pinch that. Tighten this down. Luckily, I got the size fairly correct here. So now I'm gonna flip it to the front and I'm gonna run the bottom piece through here. Get it through the top. And get a wing nut on that right there. All right, with that together, the stove should hold together fairly well now. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you a little bit more in depth what's going on here. I'm threading this through the back Threading another wing nut on top right here. It's gonna pinch in between the back of this, or the top of this stove. So I'm gonna push this through the top, add another wing nut. Like that. Make sure these pinch together. I'm gonna adjust this bottom piece in. Okay, and then I'm just gonna flip it one more time. And now we just gotta go ahead and attach this last leg here. Just threw on that wing nut. And there we go. Apply the door. And you've got your medium U-turn set up. All you need to put together now is your damper. All you're gonna need is the damper body and the damper flapper. Um, on the damper body, there's gonna be two holes. One is gonna be a bit larger, which is gonna be this one for me. And I'm gonna thread this shepherd's hook through that hole. And then I'm simply just gonna pinch together the damper and stick that through there. And now we have a fully functioning dampening system. I hope that information was helpful in helping you learn how to set up your medium U-turn stove. Uh, if you guys have any other questions, just leave them down in the comments or feel free to contact us. Uh, give us a follow on Facebook and Instagram and have an amazing day.